Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Living to Learn. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And I hope that it's helpful. I hope that the information I share with you is going to be beneficial for you or someone you know. And please share this with them if you think this is going to be something that they would be interested in or uh, would help them out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. And I appreciate the support. Before I get started, I want to point out in the details or description of this video, you're going to find two things. One is my uh, Instagram account at live to learn coaching there you can follow me for more content but you can also directly message me there for any questions or any information you may want to know about my services or what I provide perhaps you or someone you know has considered hiring a life coach I'd love to hear from you again there in the description of the video at live to learn coaching on Instagram you can uh, communicate with me also in the description of the video you're gonna find three opportunities to donate financially to this channel that helps me out a lot because this does require a lot of time and effort it does require a lot of preparation and consistency and those of you that have previously gifted me financially I want to thank you so much for that and I want to thank you all for your continued support so I'm kind of piggybacking this week off of last week's uh, topic last week we talked about self-worth we, we discussed a, a, a different Kind of different uh, areas, all the different sides of self-worth. And again, it was very concise. This is not, uh, you know, meant to be something, you know, too overwhelming. I don't like to keep these videos very long uh, because if you're like me, <laughs> the attention span is just not there anymore. Um, hold on, let me fix this. And so, yeah, I'm trying to be mindful of that and, you know, mindful of, of individuals that are watching this. I don't want to keep you here too long. So if you go back to last week's videos, we we're talking about self-worth, uh, self-acceptance, self-love, practicing those things, how to see ourselves, right? how to receive ourselves, how to accept ourselves. And this week, I want to kind of extend, uh, kind of extend off of that and get a little more personal as far as my own experience and something that I think a lot of people out there would be interested in, in knowing whether or not they want to admit this or whether or not they would freely uh, say this out loud, there are a lot of people who, like myself, are transitioning from a religious environment into a more free-thinking and self-accepting mindset. Now, here's what I want to specify before I get into this, okay? Because I want to share three things with you. This is These are three strategies, three tips for you to do that's going that are going to help you transition out of a religious environment into a more free thinking and self accepting mindset. Here's what I'm not saying, okay? I want you to understand this clearly. Number 1, I have no issue with religion. Okay? I have an issue with any environment that tries to restrict people's free thinking and tries to get them to not accept themselves fully as they are, okay? It doesn't have to be a religious environment. It could be a family environment. It could be a, a, a you know unhealthy environment at work. So apply this where it applies to you. But what I'm I'm just sharing. I'm talking about religious environment and transitioning out of that because that's something that I personally relate to. Okay, I was raised in the faith. I was raised in the church, and so that's where this is coming from. Okay. The second thing I want to say is, I'm not advocating for anyone to. Leave the church, leave the temple, leave the mosque, leave your religious gathering. I'm not advocating for that at all. You don't have to go anywhere. In fact, you don't have to even regard what I'm saying today. But if this applies to you, I want to give you some tips that have helped me make that transition. Because if you know anything about being a part of a religious environment, you understand, especially if you grew up in it. Like I grew up in it since I was a child. Okay. And I want to also be clear about this. Not all of my experiences were bad. Most of them were great. I came to a realization at a certain point in my life, specifically about six years ago, where I realized that I needed to step away because there were some things that I was coming up against that were restricting my ability to think freely and to be myself and to fully accept myself as I am. So here's what you need to do. I'm going to give you three tips. If you're looking to transition out of a religious environment, if you're looking to transition out of an unhealthy environment, something that you feel is, is suppressing you, it's, it's keeping your, your you from being you, 
Okay, this, this could be work. This could be a lot of different things. I want you to listen to me. Number one, the first thing you got to do, the first thing we have to do, this is what I had to do. I had to be honest. Okay, first thing you got to do, you, we got to be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves. Here's a couple of questions. Here's three questions you can ask to make sure that you're being honest with yourself. Here's one. Are there questions that I have in my mind that I'm afraid to ask out loud for fear for fear of how I'll be treated? Here's another one. Is there something being taught or openly accepted by others that I myself disagree with? And lastly, can I be my complete self here? Or do I have to hide some of who I am? Those are some questions that are going to help you be honest and make an honest assessment of your situation. Here's the other thing you have to do. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you got to be honest. The second thing we have to do is we have to embrace our individuality. Embrace your individuality. You are you for a reason. There's no one else walking around this planet who's like you. And that's very serious. And it should be taken seriously. And after all, any concept of religion, of faith, of, of deity, of, of principles, etc., all of those things have to find their way through our perspective, okay? They have to find their way through our worldview. And as Covey writes, we, don't, we see the world not as it is, but as we are, or as we are conditioned to see it. It might be time to pivot. It might be time to take a different route. If you're being asked to sacrifice your sacred individuality for even the most righteous cause. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you, you want to be honest. The second thing you want to do is you want to embrace your individuality. Lastly, prioritize. That means make put it at the top of the list. Prioritize free thinking and personal growth. This doesn't mean that you have to stop attending your church, your temple, your mosque, or wherever you gather, okay? That's not what I'm saying. It just means by prioritizing free thinking and personal growth, we're resisting that vacuum. We're resisting the echo chamber. We wanna think for ourselves and we wanna work on ourselves. And it's okay to agree to disagree. That's maturity. Let me say that again, it's okay for us to agree to disagree. And if your environment has an issue with that, then you've got some decisions to make. And I'm also not gonna advocate that this is an easy thing to do. Our minds, our brains like, we like routine. We like things to be the same. So when we have been accustomed to something over the years, day in and day out, it's not easy to turn that off. And I know that because I'm going through that right now. I've been deconstructing my faith for the last three years, really trying to get down to who I am as an individual. What, what is it that I, how do I want to see the world? How do I need to see it clearly? And it's, it's hard because in our minds, our, our, our instincts, a lot of those things that were embedded in us, a lot of those things that were taught to us are still there. And again, I feel fortunate because I've had an overall great experience. And I know so many people that haven't. And I know there's so many people that are still in these similar environments that are afraid to say the things that I'm saying on this video. So I made this for you. And I made this for anyone else that can take anything or gain anything from this. So again, you want to transition from a religious environment, okay? It doesn't have to be religious environment. It could be a, any, any environment that you're just saying, you know what, I think this is, I feel like I can't be me here. I feel like I can't think. I feel like I can't be honest, be open. Here's what you wanna do. Number one, you gotta be honest with yourself. Number two, you've gotta embrace your individuality. Take it serious because it is. And number three, we want to prioritize free thinking and personal growth. And we want to get away from anything that tries to hinder that. 
So I hope this has helped. If it's resonated with you, let me know in the comments. Hit the, hit the thumbs up. Hit the uh, notification bell if you want to know every time I upload a new video. I love doing this. It's my passion. And I appreciate those of you that have been supporting me and that watch these videos. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Uh, that's you know probably one of the most helpful things you can do for me. And again, thank you. Have a great day.